Eminence from X5 and Larry Word here coming to you from the Ibex Dunes. Just outside the Ibex Dunes. It's inside the uh, Death Valley National Park. Southern portion, just close to the uh, Dumont Dunes, baby Dumont Dunes. Well, that's the Ibex Dunes right there. The Dumont Dunes are just over that mountainside there. There's some mine remains, I believe, or some kind of human activity over there. Um, I did run across a uh, USGS marker out here from the 1940s. That was interesting. It's always fun to, to run across those in the desert. Uh, but we're gonna hike over there tomorrow, tonight. Treating myself to a little steak, a bone-in steak tonight. This is an off-the-shelf one. I'm not too uh, uh, encouraged with it, but I'm gonna give it a shot. <laughs> and uh, make it an early night, because I got an early hike out to those dunes. And I'm really looking forward to that. I'm kind of excited. myself in the back every once in a while. Last night was one of those nights. I have to pat myself on the back. I did a good job cooking some steak. We're on our way today to Ibex Dunes. There are some mine or milling remains out here, or both, from what I can understand. Um, de again, details down below in the description as to what type of mine it was. Had a beautiful night at camp. Sunset was interrupted by California wildfire smoke. And this morning, not much of a sunrise. I got a couple of stills uh, just as the sun was peeking underneath the smoke. So we're gonna neander. If you're wondering what this hike is all about, we're gonna kinda go through this area and behind the dunes. We're gonna go up and over these dunes here uh, and try and get a, an understanding of what we're looking at. I believe there's mining remains from about here on over to here uh, along that mountainside there. So we'll go to the, one of the dune peaks and we'll take a, a survey from there. How's that? Even though I'm not using my gimbal right now. I'm somewhat relying on the cell phone's image stabilization to help me out a little bit. If it works, sometimes it doesn't. How does it, how does it not work sometimes? I don't get that. Like when I turn on my Filmic Pro app, the image stabilization doesn't work as well as with the standard camera app. Anyway. One of those weird things. Okay, well, as soon as I get out of this small, well, it's turning really sandy right now. Um, as soon as I get out of this, I will turn the camera back on. You can kind of see where the dunes start right down there. It's about 10 minutes away. Check it out. That would be the sun coming up. Trippy. Okay, I will uh, turn this back on in a minute as soon as we get out of these, the brush, which is really close to the base of that tallest dune in front of us. Looks like the sun is setting because I'm walking up on the dunes, but the sun's been out for a little bit now. About 40 minutes. Just after seven. Guessing. We are out of the, wow, the sand is, no bueno.
The wind out in the desert, no matter how calm it may seem, the wind makes noise through the little brush. Now, I am nowhere near that brush now, and it's deafeningly quiet. It's really bizarre. We're looking in the direction of Death Valley. It's on the other side of these, this little mountain ridge here. You enter Death, Death Valley there. We're actually in the Death Valley Park right now. Woo! It's amazing. I wonder if we wouldn't be able to see that because it, the sun would be way too bright. Well, the smoke has opened that up. Man, this dune is getting larger and larger. <laughs> I see a different path up. Uh, we will try and take that. Um, it looks like there's a ridge right here that I can follow. It goes all the way across and up the side. I can go up. I can go across here and then up this little ridge into the top. So let's try that. It seems more like a direct route. That's quite a ways over. <laughs> it's like three football fields out through sand and uphill. So this looks like it's right here. Maybe one, one football field. The ridge that is. Not a footprint on it. I'm definitely in one of those situations again where I lucked out. Again, there's been a lot of heavy winds lately. So if there were anyone out here recently, it would have been covered up. But here's the ridge. This is very doable. Wow. It's amazing out here. It's so vast. Look at the colors on the side or the, the shadow areas from the dunes. It's amazing. This is a very sharp ridge though. Yeah. This, this ridge here is... <laughs> okay, I'll try that. Seriously, it's, I'm on the left side of the ridge as it's a little more level than the right, but it's difficult already. I'm sliding to the right, uh, excuse me, I'm sliding to the left. Whew. I will turn the camera on when we get to that plateau. Right there. We are quite a ways up, about halfway now, on these dunes. But look at this pocket. That's the bottom right about there. Something out of Star Wars. <laughs> like the pit where that, <coughs> that monster was that was eating everyone in the desert outside of Boba Fett's place. Anyway, was that Empire Strikes Back? I can't remember. Well, once again, I'm faced with a, uh, a bit of a climb here. It's, it's, it's really that steep. Um, here we go. At least it's hard packed right here, the sand. But I'm going up a steep hill right now. I'm already tired. I'll turn it back on when I summit there. That's the top. We'll be able to see all the mining remains if there are any left. We've made it to the top of the dunes, guys. And you can see there appears to be a road right there leading up to that. It looks like the remains of an ore bin. I've been up here, you know, kind of studying what I'm seeing out there. You do see a road running, you know, through here and up and around and out in this direction. Um, there appears to be a road in this valley back up in here. None of these roads have been used in a long time. We're going to go down there and investigate. 
But I did want to point out that there appears to be a road right in here, coming out of the dunes and out in that direction towards where I'm camped, which is right about there is where I'm camped. Um, I might take that uh, on the way back out, uh, back to camp. But uh, for now, I'm going to go down here and poke around and see what I can find. We're going to be out here for a few hours. Oh, wow, it goes right around this edge here, the road. But it looks like it's covered up by these dunes. Amazing. What would you guys do? Would you go to the ore bin first and try and figure out where the ore was coming from? Or would you take the roads try and figure out where the mines or adits were first? I'm going to the ore bin. Down the hill we go. We won't be coming up this way. I'm glad I did this now. Because it is getting warmer. Excuse me guys, I had to put my... My backpack back on, and my camera bag. Whoa, ankle deep. Immediately, just right off, right off the get-go. That is not a piece of trash down there. That is a rock. Um, one step takes me three. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a nice one. Um, it looks to have a green tint to it. It's very heavy. It's a beautiful specimen. <laughs> it doesn't feel like rock. It feels smooth chalk it's not coming off of my hands anyway i'm gonna leave this here right where i found it and pre proceed on the de to the destination it only take me about a minute to get down to the bottom of this and about 45 minutes to get back up it but i'll try and keep it as steady as possible we're just going right down this ridge it's a little further than it looks but we're pretty far up No booming sands here. I mean, we've come a long ways already. <laughs> Thank you.
Well, we've successfully made it down off the dune behind me here. And we're proceeding forward to the uh, orbin on flat ground, more or less, right now. Going slightly uphill towards the orbin from the... <clears throat> from the base of the dune here. Very rocky. Thanks for coming along. I'm looking forward to seeing this thing. We are surrounded by dunes. Look at this. Isn't that great? There's the orb in behind me. Not too far away. It's beautiful out here. Thanks again for coming along. I'll turn the camera on when we're closer to the orb in. These aren't high pressure pipes here. They don't appear to be at least. There's no way that the end would ever hold water. I think it might maybe just drainage. I'm not sure. Now these tanks look to be pressure tanks of some sort. Hard to tell what they were used for. Welded up, bullet ridden. I'm thinking they were air tanks. But these are the mining remains. And here's the road I was talking about that cuts through the dunes and goes back to where I was camped. This is that road. It does not look like it's been used in an extremely long time. It goes right through the dunes there, but the dunes have long since covered that road up, but I will take that route back out to my camp, leaving here today. Kind of exciting. And the mine looks to be right next to the orb in there. And there's some more artifacts Right over here, we'll go check out in a second. I saw something over here, caught my eye. I'm on high alert for rattlers. Piece of metal over here. Oh, it's a tire. Someone was having a bad day. It's very old. You see the still, the still braids in there. The wiring that would hold the tire together, still belted. Beyond recognition now. It's a piece of wood here. frame Could this have been part of the orbin orbin's not terribly big but it appears to be a, a car trail that we're on right now Wow, the Orbin is uh, largely intact. I see the door there. I don't see the crank for the door. There does appear to be roads. Hard to make out. Another piece of that metal that I found, the piping over there. It's hardly piping, it's more like thin sheet metal. Very cool.
Very amazing. Is that a valve on the ground right there? Dead center? Looking for artifacts in the ground. There's a can right here. That's a filter. Look at that. It's perforated. All the way around. Amazing. Looks like some sort of filter, all right. Is that all can? Did you guys hear that? It sounded like rocks falling. Huh. I don't hear it anymore. Scanning the ground here for any kind of remains. A little piece of glass there, delaminating. Critter holes. Excuse me, guys. It looks like a bunny probably living here. That's a propane tank. You can tell by the. Uh, the nozzle. It's fairly new. Yeah, there's more. It's a big barrel down around the corner here. We'll go take that, check that out in a second. <clears throat> Let's see what's going on up here. This is long since filled in. I am assuming the same here. Is this an incline shaft? It sure is. That's a friggin' incline shaft right there. There's a roller left on that beam right there. Isn't that cool? I will not be going in the mine today, but it's open. That's amazing. Don't usually find them open on BLM land. There's some more of that piping, loosely called piping. Looks like it may be for drainage. Who knows, maybe air? That's probably what it is. Uh, ventilation. The ore would keep going straight up. There's two rails up there. We might have to see if we can climb up that, sketchy as it is. Um, there's two rails up there towards the top. That's amazing. I guess they left those up there because they couldn't use it for anything else. It was kind of built specifically for the, this, this uh, ore bin shoot. Really amazing. I'm gonna get up inside that and see if there's any ore left. I'm gonna walk this plank here. It all looks really sketchy, but you can imagine people are crawling around this thing to open and close the gates for the ore to pour out of that 
that shoot down at the very bottom there, you'd have to walk ac across that plank. But once you're on it, you can go almost all the way to the top. You can see this plank right here is kind of a dead end. There would probably be one that would go all the way to the top. Anyway, I'm not jabbering. Let me put my stuff down, get some drinks and uh, or some gulps. And we'll proceed on. Look, this is what they were pulling out. The stuff on the ground is what didn't make it into the ore bin. But this is this is the material they're pulling out of the ground. That's probably where the generator was sitting with a wench to pull the cable that'd be attached the, up there and then back down into the mine. You'd pull it out. Pretty straightforward setup. Who's ready for some mine explorers, huh? Holy Toledo. Problems with going into mines is you don't know what's down there, one. Um, wildlife, stuff like that. Uh, two, you don't know what kind of gases are down there. I don't have any kind of oxygen meter. And I'm alone and no one knows I'm out here. So I'm not going into these mines today. However, we've got to return here. Oh, I bet you that's an open stope. Just opens up right here. Who knows how much I'm standing on right now. <laughs> Freaky. Bunch of cabling over here. It appears there was a road here. Yeah, definitely. Goes down and around this corner here. It looks to be more scarring on the side of the mountain up here, like a road or an open open pit of some sort. I'm not sure. Broken ladder. Leading up to the top there. This looks to be pretty old. Yeah, this whole thing shakes with just one hand. It's, it's very brittle. Too bad. I really like to see inside that ore bin. Maybe there's another way from the bottom to look into it. I mean, the door is stuck shut, so there's got to be something in it. Yeah, it's still falling down. Look at the size of that cable. Wow. Yeah, that thing, that, that's part of the supporting cable. I'm not seeing a way to see into it at all. And the whole thing looks janky from the beginning. The only thing solid are these little cement pillars that are holding this thing up. What a trip. Really on sketchy ground right here. Actually, this is more solid rock. Maybe I can... It's very brittle. Don't fall yet, Larry. I'm gonna look through the cracks here. Oh, 
Not seeing a way to look in. I'm gonna walk way up the side there. I'm pretty locked out of it. Gorgeous. You can almost make out where the uh, the road would come around and back and through again to pick up the ore and right back out again. But it also looks like they were uh, traveling around this way previously and probably before this ore bin was here, it looks like maybe the rail would stop there. There's a road that comes up and they would dump the ore there and move on, but I think the ore bin is a, an add-on, possibly, as the mine was getting bigger, producing more, maybe. I don't know. Speculation here. Starting to see more color in the uh, the dunes themselves. Complete another set of dunes over there. Of course, the road cuts right through there. That's the way I'll be going back. There are uh, a few barrels down here, right there, and over there. I'm not quite sure what that's all about. 55 ga gallon barrels. I'll peek around this corner here and make sure there's nothing else back around this corner that I can't see right now, but I'm pretty sure this is about it. I can almost make out a, uh, a trash pile around this corner here uh, when I was poking around down there earlier. All my bags are sitting right about there on that concrete pad down there, which I'm pretty sure is where the uh, the hoist house was to pull up the, uh, the ore carts. Eminence for an X5 and Larry Ward here, signing off for the day. I gotta get my butt back to camp. Thanks for joining me guys, it's been really interesting. I'm planning on coming back out here again. I definitely wanna go into those the incline shaft and see what's up. Respirator time kind of thing. Okay, guys. Thanks again. Hit subscribe if you've made it this far. If you want to see more, please hit that like button. Definitely hit the like button if you made it this far. And uh, click on that notification if you'd like to be notified next time I'm uh, having any kind of activity on the channel. Usually once a week, twice a week. Definitely do live chats to get people caught up on some things. If they have questions about my videos or not, I do pop on. And uh, hopefully answer some questions on that. Eminence Front X5 and Larry Ward out. Shoot.